Okay, let's uh, take, a, take up a question on the rules of debit and credit and I will take up some transactions uh, and we will see how those uh, entries will be made in both the traditional as well as the modern approach. Okay, now let us first take up this. Sudhanshu started business with cash rupees, let us say 10 lakhs. Now, first of all, what are the accounts that are involved in this, right? Cash is being brought into the business, so cash account and the proprietor Sudhanshu is bringing in capital that is the capital account, right. Okay, now, let us look at this uh, traditional approach here first. <coughs> Cash is a real account and capital is a personal account. So, let us write down the rules for this. Now, in this case cash is coming in, cash is coming in and the proprietor is giving the capital right. For this real account the rule is debit what comes in right, cash is coming into the business. So, uh, here we can write cash account debit right and who is giving the cash basically the proprietor is giving the cash, but it is capital account right. So, two capital account. So, this is the entry we pass and this is the logic that we follow when we follow the traditional approach right. This is proprietor is giving the capital means this is a personal account. So, we say credit the giver right. Now, the same thing started business with cash rupees 10 lakh the same transaction. Now, I am going to take it up with modern approach. Now, again the accounts that are involved will be the same cash and capital account. The classification of these accounts is different now. Cash account comes under asset account and capital account that is the proprietor basically giving the capital that is basically a comes under the capital account classification right. Now, the rule for asset, hmm, the rule for asset account is increase will be debited and decrease will be credited right and the rule for capital account is the opposite increase will be credited and decrease will be debited. So, here you see for the business cash is increasing when the cash comes into the business cash is increasing. So, increase in an asset account is debited. So, we write cash account debit and capital is also increasing when the proprietor brings in capital cash into the business that is capital. So, capital account of the proprietor was initially 0, now the capital account is 10 lakh right. So, capital account is also increasing, increase in capital account is to be credited. So, we write 2 capital account like this. Okay. So, you see here that 
whether you follow the traditional approach or the modern approach, the journal entry which we have written here that is the debit and credit part, actually when we write two capital account, this two capital account actually means uh, this is a credit, this is how we put a journal entry, I will uh, write it down in a different way here, cash is debited and capital is credited, right. The same thing I have put there, this is in the form of a journal actually. Uh, same way here, this is the same entry cash account to capital account, cash account is debited, capital account is credited, right. So, whether you follow the traditional approach or the modern approach, the debit and credit will be the same, it cannot change, right. Now, I will take up one more, uh, uh, the next one let us say purchased land and building worth rupees 2 lakh in uh, let us say from SS infrastructure, right. Now, the accounts that are involved here is land and building that is the asset that is being purchased and we are not purchasing it for cash, we are purchasing it from SS infrastructure, the name is given, so it is a credit purchase here. So, we will write SS infrastructure that is the other account that will be affected, right. Now, again now see land and building is a real account, right and SS infrastructure is a personal account, ok. <coughs> now again I will take up the traditional approach first for this, land and building is an asset a real account, right that land and building is coming in right. So, what do we do for real accounts? Debit what comes in right and SS infrastructure is a personal account he is giving the land and building to us right. So, debit the receiver credit the giver who is giving this? The person who is giving this land and building to us is SS infrastructure, so that is credit the giver. So, the entry will be land and building account will be debited and SS infrastructure will be credited. So, we will write two SS infrastructure account like this, right. If you take up the same thing and do with the modern approach purchased land and building worth rupees 2 lakh from SS infrastructure, right. So, here again uh, land and building and SS infrastructure. Now, see the type of accounts here land and building is an asset account and this SS infrastructure is a liability account, we have to pay this person, right, ok. So, for asset account again I will write the rule, increase is a debit and decrease is a credit, decrease is a credit and for liabilities it is increase is a credit and decrease is a debit, ok. Now, see land and building initially let us say we did not have any land and building, now we have purchased land and building for 2 lakh rupees, so that is an increase in land and building. So, land and building is an asset, it is increasing means it will be debited, land and building account debit, right and SS infrastructure, uh, his account is also increasing because initially his account was 0, we did not have to pay anything to him, now we have to pay rupees 2 lakh to him. So, his account has increased by 2 lakh, the liability has increased by 2 lakhs, right. So, that is again an increase in 
the liability account so that will be credited so we'll write two ss infrastructure account like this right so again whatever transaction you take whatever approach you follow the final debit and credit the account to be debited and account to be credited will always be the same right Let us take uh, one more transaction sold goods to Krishna for cash rupees 10,000 right. Now, here we have a sales account and then this is sold goods to Krishna for cash. So, that is cash account right. Now, sales account comes in the revenue account. Uh, sorry, first of all let us uh, take up the um, traditional approach right. If I take up the traditional approach in that case cash account is a real account and sales account is a nominal account ok. So, the rule for uh, now here when you make a sales when we sell something for cash, cash is coming in right and sales is basically a uh, income right. So, we write credit all incomes and gains this is the rule for nominal account. So, what is coming in cash is coming in. So, cash account will be debited right and what is the income credit all incomes and gain that is to sales account it is like this. This is the traditional approach if I follow the modern approach then in that case sales is a uh, revenue account and cash is an asset account fine. Now, the rule for asset account is the same which I had shown here increase is debited decrease is credited uh, for revenue account it is increase is credited and decrease is debited fine. So, here you see cash account is increasing cash is coming in cash account is increasing. So, cash account will be debited and sales account is also increasing. Initially the amount of sales was 0 now the amount of sales is 10,000 it has increased by 10,000 rupees. So, sales account is increasing so that will also get credited to sales account like this. So, in both ways this is the same right. So, this way you have to uh, do such questions in which uh, you have to I mean like follow the traditional approach or the modern approach and decide which account has to be credited or debited right. With that I will come to the end of this session on rules of debit and credit.